at the exit. Alright. <clears throat> oh. Well, I, I, I did that before. I didn't get no bonus things. Oh, that's not... Oh, okay. Wait. More coins? That's... Damnation! You know nothing! Um... Dude, calm down. Here we go! You say that, but I can't help but feel like you draw a lot of porn. Oh, it looks like a laptop. A laptop looks pretty old. It's all covered in it's dust. So... It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. Broken, huh? Oh, that's too bad. Something I could use it to go online and see what's going on in the outside world. Uh, it's broken. There's nothing I can really do about it. Anyway, I have a pretty idea. It's on the second floor now. But I didn't see anything that might be any kind of exit or anything. Do now is hope that everybody else found something worthwhile. Hmm. Okay. I better head back to the dining hall as soon as possible. But there was another room! Oh no. Listen to me! But the other room! Taka! Taka, you don't understand! That was another room! There's another room, Taka! There's another room! Room, Taka, there was another room! I saw it on the thing. It's on the map. And I can't explore it because you're like, no, we're gonna return! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, how did it go? Did anyone discover anything interesting? Anything new? Yes, indeed. <laughs> There's a library. Okay. And a pool. A freaking pool. And locker rooms filled with exercise equipment. Well. But there's also a pool. I don't think you guys understand the importance of this pool. I'm going to marry the pool. There was not, uh, brother, there was not, however, anything resembling an escape route. Yeah, uh, she's right on that end. I see. Well, hey, there's no reason to get all sulky. Wait till you hear about my amazing discovery. Quiet down and listen. The warehouse and bathroom on the first floor of the dorms are now open. You hear me? And the warehouse is chucked full of food, clothes, and whatever you want. There's... There's so much, it's insane. <laughs> I slay myself. Oh, go ahead and stuff yourself to the gills, whatever you feel like. Are you okay with this? Keep in mind, of course, going out at nighttime is still prohibited, so please do not forget. Yo. Okay, and what about a fucking way out of here? We got, like, I mean, did you find anything like that? Ah, uh, no. What? What? So you mean to tell me there wasn't anything in the warehouse we could use to get our asses out here? Nothing. Uh, uh, unfortunately, no. Not that I saw. Hey, come on. Ah, uh, you fucking people. What? Who gives a shit about a goddamn pool now? Or a warehouse, or whatever the fuck? Stop fucking around. We're still trapped in here in this piece of shit school. We have to find a goddamn way out. <laughs> And now, now, there's no point in taking out your anger on us. Adaptation is key, yes. For now, we must each find a way to enjoy our current situation. You piece of... Ah, oh, whatever you say, you fucking loon. <laughs> uh, for now, let's just continue our investigation and let everyone know if you discover something. So then. Um, so, are we done for today? Yeah. I, I, I guess so. <laughs> it fooled me. <laughs> that, that lines up so well. <laughs> uh, the air seemed to suddenly grow heavy again. Was it the Mastermind's plan to give us hope just to turn it around and betray that hope? Probably. Dot, dot, dot. Why did it focus on Yim? Dong, bing, bong. 
It is now 10 p.m. Ended. As such, it is officially night time. As it always is at 10 p.m. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Do we have to go through this every time? We all promise not to leave our rooms during nighttime. There's not much else to do. I guess I'll just go to bed. Oh no! Another episode of Monokuma Theater! Mr. Monokuma! Mr. Monokuma! Do you have a second? I don't really like myself. I don't really have any kind of skill or hobby I am super good at. And my grades are totally average, too. My reflexes are okay. Not great. Not awful. I could get into a decent college where I'd make a few friends. Maybe even find a normal girlfriend. Which is exactly why I don't like who I am. I understand that now. My life is just one great giant copy-paste. I don't have an imagination. I'm perfectly average. Cardboard cutout. You see what I mean, right, Mr. Monokuma? Is that directed at me? Bing bong. Oh, bong. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Yeah. Nine hours of nighttime. Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Yeah. Oh, that's right. I wanted to let you know that your e-handbooks have been updated. New regulations have been added, so please take a look and enjoy your school life more than ever before! A new rule! You must be referring to the loaning your e-book to another student, strictly prohibited rule. I need to hurry up and head to breakfast. You say these things, but you never know. Haha! -ha! I got a coin. Such a weird placement for the bed. Just in the middle like that? It's bizarre. Oh, oh that's not what I wanted. Uh, da, da, da. The laundry up? Anybody in here then? No. Fine, I'll go to the dining hall. Hey, Makoto. Morning, Makoto. Uh, good morning. Everybody here already? Yo, yo, yo! Nope, still waiting for, like, Yakya and Taka. Yakya is no surprise, but it's kind of strange that Taka's not, like, here yet, dude. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Knowing Taka, I imagine he's trying to get the king of tardiness up and out of bed. <laughs> Brother, I'm sure they'll be here soon. Just be patient. Let's see. Oh, I don't mind waiting for them, but there's one problem. Which is... <sighs> I'm thirsty. Hey, come on. How is that a problem? <laughs> uh, Hifumi, dear, could you make some tea? Hmm? Uh, what? <laughs> Milk tea, if you please. Well... W why me? Let's see. Oh, your roundish figure reminds me of the owner of a coffee shop I used to frequent. That, that's, that's your reason. 
This is fine. Ah, oh, I can feel my throat drying up. Quickly, please. Oh. Um, mm. oh, okay. <laughs> Apparently unable to refuse the last order, Ifumi sulked away into the kitchen. A few minutes later... <laughs> Thank you for weaning! Fumi reappeared with a tray in hand and her gentle aroma, growing stronger as he approached. <laughs> oh, finally. <laughs> you, you could have made tea for, you know, uh, for, cut you. There's no way to think about this in a common sense kind of way. <laughs> I emphatically, I emphatically decline. You're not my type at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the law of causality, basic instinct to act and react. Uh, well then, if you don't mind. Small smile <laughs> played across her lips as she held the tea delicately in her hand. Oh, wait. She cocked her head to the side and threw the cup as hard as she could at the wall. What? <gasps> wait, wait. What are you doing, my little white rabbit? Mm. I hate this kind of tea. Um, but I, I don't understand. Yes, indeed. Yeah, well, imagine if we were at a coffee shop, just like just any normal everyday cafe. I sit down, I order some tea. Would you like lemon or milk? Now, further imagine, I replied, ah, yes, I would like milk tea, please. In that case, along with my tea, they may bring me a small container of milk, yes? <sighs> this is not for me. I am not among those who prefer milk to be part of the process from the outset. The fragrance is just so overwhelmingly sweet that adding milk or lemon right before the drink is like dousing your fries and ketchup mere condiments. I've lost your voice completely. Whenever looking for a cafe, I first review their menu to see if it offers a proper style of milk tea. <laughs> Can I acknowledge any milk tea that does not add the milk during the brewing process? If I had to describe our shared reaction to what we just heard, I'd have to go with wide-eyed bewilderment. <laughs> but I went through all the trouble of making you that tea and you wanted me to go even farther? <sighs> yes, I realize it can be a bit of a hassle. Even in cafes that offer proper milk tea, it's always more expensive than simple tea with milk. It takes more time to prepare, surely, but... <laughs> why even bother creating a menu if you're not going to offer the highest level of quality? Well... Oh, I don't actually have a menu. You little bitch! What? Dude, Celeste is angry. It does not matter. Hurry up and bring me what I asked for, swine. Say what? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> what do you think you'll bring that up? <laughs> oh, I do love coercion. Huh? Huh? Uh, hi. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, you went psycho there. <laughs> I knew there was more than her the first time I met her. I hate to have her as an enemy. Seriously, man, she's one scary chick. But hmm. bad news, everyone. Bad news, everyone. There's a mystery afoot. Huh? Dude, like what? <clears throat> it would seem that Byakura, Byakuya, Byakuya, Byakuya. Biagra, 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 he refuses to leave his room. I stood there pressing his doorbell over and over. He never showed himself. Maybe he just wasn't there. I think maybe... I'd like to think so, but I'm worried that something might have happened to him. What he meant by that? He didn't have to say anything else. Everyone understood exactly what he meant. It might be a good idea if we split up and go look for him. Listen to me! I was just about to suggest the same thing! Capital idea, Makoto! What's your problem? 
dude, like, stop trying to one-up everyone before I stab your ass. Um... Okay, I'll go check his room one more time. I'm gonna keep hammering the button until I get a response. Well, then. Well, brother, then the rest of us can go check the building. Uh, um... Before you know, it's like, too late. Dot, dot, dot. Ah, I'll have to do our best to find him. Where might he have gone? Maybe he went to go check the second floor again. Maybe he went to that room that nobody let me.